Hello everybody! In this video we are going to have a look at resource management. So let's start. The purpose of resource management is to show workload of particular users. So let's have a look here at Jeff Collins. Here are the tasks assigned to particular users and the tasks have some estimated time for its realization and due date. This estimated time for realization is allocated into the days from the due date backwards. And afterwards, here in the line of the particular users, the workload of particular tasks is summed up. So here we can see that the user is supposed to work 16 hours per day. Here we can see he's supposed to work 8 hours, 8 hours ATC. So in order to balance his workload, we can either change uh, due date or start date of the tasks like this, for example. Or we can grab a task, task and assign it to another user, like this, for example. We can also uh, modify estimated time for realization by clicking on this time here. And here we can write another number, another time estimate. We can also manually change uh, the time allocation for particular dates uh, by double clicking on the task, like this. And here I can write, he's supposed to work just two hours on this task and this particular date. The rest of hours is allocated on the preceding day. Uh, in resource management, we can also see unassigned tasks within the system. These unassigned tasks have an uh, estimated time for realization as well, and we can assign them to users via drag and drop, like this, for example. And here is the task assigned, and we can move it where we need it. Uh, you can also display uh, this resource management in full screen, clicking in this button here. And you can also apply any filters above resource management. So for example, we can filter by user selection. So you can say you want to see only these particular, particular users within the resource management, or you can apply any filters relating to tasks. Such filters can be afterwards saved again, so you can have resource management for particular teams here for example or you can have just specific trackers like you can look at resource management just for the features or support tasks in the resource management you also see whatever user is available or not for example here you can see that Voita has a holiday because it's Christmas time and here he has vacation Moving your cursor above the task, you can see some task details in tooltip like estimated time, start date, due date, author, and who is it assigned to. Resource management also have module for personal page, so each user can see his workload in particular days, the tasks which are assigned to him, its time estimate, and what is estimated workload for particular days. Resource management can be also utilized on project level, for example in quick project planning. If we go to quick project planning, we have here tasks for particular project, its estimated time and due date. And we want to plan this task in resource management. We can click plan in resource management. Here we have resource management just for this particular project. We see the project team its workload and we can assign the tasks from particular projects to our team like this again via drag and drop finally if we are satisfied with assignment we can just click save, click save changes and all the tasks are assigned now in particular days. Thank you for watching the video.